beautiful babes, my sugar babes, your girl sweet angel. Welcome back to Sugar Fingers. If you're new to this channel, welcome in, join the family, hit the bell, and let's get into it. Today I have a gift, a gift from, I don't know how to pronounce this, I'm going to call it Puity, Puity, or Poet. Which one do you think? Let's do Poet. Poet sent me these amazing gel polishes y'all this is a gel nail polish kit of 21 pieces i think it's the perfect starter kit for beginners or professionals or whomever because it comes with so many amazing colors also comes with instructions so you know you need that when you are new to the game i'm just gonna drop these all out on my desktop here and let you see this packaging which is amazing but i want you to make note of something very interesting now i have on occasion received several of these gel nail polish kits and the bottles of the gel nail polish are usually smaller but guess what we have here now instead of the top coat base coat and the matte top coat being miniature as well they are pretty much a full size which i thought was very very good i love that because you're going to be using all of these nail polishes and you got to make sure you got enough top coat and base coat to go along with it so i like that and i'm glad they did that but what i wanted to do i'll go ahead and take all of the polishes out of the little holder here and that way we can actually check out these nail polishes and see how they hold up so how about i do all of that now and let me go ahead and swatch some of these polishes and let you see how they perform as far as application and you'll be able to determine for yourself if these are a good buy or not i'm saying they are because girl guess what i have a super great discount for you and i will let you know that in just a second here So beautiful babes, I decided to do something a little different today. I have my swatch sticks out and I'm getting ready to swatch all of these beautiful colors. And I said I was going to swatch them all, but what I decided to do was to go ahead and swatch those colors that actually just got my attention. Like that really, really got my attention. So I decided to do a few little designs and I wanted to you know show my inner artistry by creating something gorgeous with these polishes so what i'm doing is just choosing some of the colors that i really had my eye on i wanted to see how they perform how they swatch and i wanted to check out you know perhaps some designs that i could share with y'all and uh, you can do your nails with this so i'm just checking out the bottle to making sure how long to cure and i wanted to make sure i did this properly because you know i want you to get the best out of your nail polishes your gel nail polishes from poet okay so i'm checking out i'm reading instructions y'all i'm really being like real studious about this okay so now that i got it all down you see that white color there in that bottle? That's the first one I'm going to swatch. I'm going to create some designs rather than just going through all of these nail polishes and boring you to death. So how about I create designs with them? So check out the beautifulness that's going to come out of this. And is beautifulness a word? Is it a word? I don't know. But let's go ahead and shoot for the best of the best that we can do with these polishes, okay? So right now, again, I'm polishing this one. The base color is going to be white. I'm going to pop that into the nail lamp now. 
and then I'm going to grab another swatch stick and I want to try this blue out. You know, there are certain gel polishes that sometimes just don't perform that well. So I'm checking out all the ones that usually give me trouble and to see if Pouette has the perfect formula. And as I go through this process, I'm pretty much loving what I see. I'm loving that I'm just, this is just one coat of this, right? And this is the blue and it looks really good. It looks really good. So that's what I wanted to share with y'all today. How amazing these polishes are. And I'm just, after each one of these swatch sticks, I'm just gonna pop them in the lamp. And I'm just curing for 60 seconds on each of these. So now I'm going to try the next color. And it's the yellow. Now this is not like a neon yellow. This is a beautiful, like canary yellow. Like, girl, here I am springtime. Hello, sunshine. This one is it. And I don't have a yellow gel polish. So that's why I'm super excited about checking this one out. And it's beautiful. Will you look at that vibrant color there? beautiful yes it is loving that so so much so i'm just going to go ahead and create four different designs that's what i have intended to do here so now i'm back to the first one i swatched with the white and what i'm going to do here i'm actually going to go ahead and put on another layer of the gel polish and I want this one to be a very opaque and it did it really the first coat was really enough but considering the design I'm going to do I want it to be a really nice layer of that white on there so that's what I did and now I'm back to that beautiful blue. I say it is very, very opaque. I love it. So since um, in my mind, it really didn't need a second coat, that's what I'm thinking. It looks great. I decided to go ahead and put on my design, which I'm taking the blue glitter. And we're just gonna drag it all across one side of this at an angle and let it shine baby let it shine absolutely well isn't she pretty isn't she pretty now let me go ahead and cure this one All right, so now we're going to take, this is kind of a nude shade, so I'm going to use it and put it on as the base for this nail. Actually, this is really not nude. It's like a really soft pink. It's really like a pink, a muted pink or something. I can't explain colors well. At first, I was just gonna stop midway of this nail, but as I was polishing it, I thought, no let's put it all the way up to the tip up to the tip go for it go for it come on angel you can do it bring it on up don't stop there <laughs> i'm just talking to myself as i'm doing this i'm looking at it like what should i do what should i do so that's when i i finally made the move to polish the entire nail but it is a very soft soft pink maybe baby pink mm, sort of kinda but anywho it's beautiful it's gorgeous. Yes, it is. So I went ahead and polished that one all over. As I was doing it, I was thinking about what am I going to do with this nail? What is the angle I'm going to take with? And in the process of thinking of that one, I was also thinking of that white nail. I said, what am I gonna do? But I thought about another color that I've been dying to get my hands on is a black gel polish. I was waiting on this of all of the collections. Yes, Poet had it for me. And I said, what am I going to do with the black? How am I going to do this? So as you can see, I do have my dotting tool out. And I decided to just put polka dots all over this one. Just taking my time and doing it. But I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this so that you can see exactly what I did. Yes, look at that 
beautiful nail. How about that? Your girl did that right. I say perhaps it's the polishes. It's just bringing out, you know, the beast artistry in me, honey. I'm really getting into this. <laughs> I'm just being very dramatic, aren't I, though? But yes, this blue nail, everything. You know, I'm looking at it like, wow, girl, that's beautiful. I need that on my hands, like right now. And I decided to go ahead and put the top coat on because, honey, she is through. You can't do no more to that because it's cute as it is. Beautiful, sparkly beautiful blue that's going to just you know give you peace every time you look at it yes indeed so i'm popping that back in the lamp and we're going to move on to the next nail and go ahead and create some more magic up in here okay we're going to take the yellow nail and i wanted to do i'm not sure I, I wasn't sure, but I did want to just try my little nail, um, the art tools, just trying to create something interesting. You know, they do those swerves and lines, and I really hadn't worked on that, so I decided to practice on y'all's eyes today. So I'm taking this reddish shade, and I said, well, let me get one of my nail art tools and, you know, go for it and see what I can come up with. So I just took it in and start swerving it around. So check out what your girl did right here. Just, just check it out. So yeah, I'm just swirling it around and I took my other little brush just to kind of clean it up just a little bit because I didn't quite get in the line like I needed to. But of course, I am going to apply a second coat on this one once this first coat dries under the lamp. So let me go ahead and do that. And then we're going to move on to the next nail. Of course, back to the polka dot. It's looking cute. It's done. And honey yes go ahead put the top coat on there's nothing else you can do for her she is perfect i mean she's perfect i think that's real cute i mean i would love to do like a full set of the polka dots and probably some stripes kind of like the sephora look on one nail with the black and white okay and you know who knows i, I love that i love that Now, as you can see, these polishes are performing excellent, just perfect. This blue one turned out amazing. I love that. Now, we're back to Little Miss Sunshine here. So, I'm going to go ahead and enhance that little curvy line a little bit more and make sure that it's very opaque and there's no empty spaces throughout. So, I'm just going to tidy it up a bit on this one. I'm thinking about adding a little bit something something else to this one in just a moment. Oh yeah, that came together. That came together nicely. So what's next? What's next? You asking me? Okay, well, we're back to the pink nail, and I finally thought about what I want to do with this one, and it has everything to do with glitter. <laughs> yes, this pink on pink glitter, I think this is going to be this amazing look that I want for this nail. Yes, indeed. I'm just going to just kind of do a little V-cut right here, you know, yeah, do it like that. And I'm going to go ahead and sharpen it up just a little bit more. And I'm going to cure this. But I'm not finished with this one yet. Because, y'all, we're going to go a little bit deeper into the artistry of, uh, yeah, sugar fingers. You know, because she got it like that. We're going to clean it up a little bit. Just taking a little alcohol on the brush and sharpening those lines up making that v cut perfectly i know you can't see me because see i was concentrating what i was doing was concentrating on the masterpiece 
you know and sometimes you forget that camera is on because it's like you're working intensely okay now i came back to my senses like oh 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 i'm out of the camera i'm out of the frame now boom yeah see what i'm saying yeah masterpiece girl you better stop you doing it you are outdoing yourself sugar fingers sugar fingers yes isn't that gorgeous what can i say i'm getting into this stuff y'all thanks to the Pouette gel nail polish set it's making me do these things okay love it i love it and now hold on hold on i don't even know if i cured that or not did i cure it okay i'm curing it now but i had a thought ahead of myself you see me pull that pink nail polish out right yeah with that pink nail polish right there i'm going to do something amazing so i let that nuke just a little bit so now taking my little fine brush what i want to do is at the bottom of that v just put that pink right there in the v shape yes yes i love it i love it <laughs> i feel so so proud of myself right now because you know what i'm taking it to another level y'all <laughs> say girl you being crazy no i am i promised myself i was gonna push every button i possibly could to try to again tap into nail artistry because i love designs on nails and believe it or not i went to art school for just a brief moment when i was probably in middle school uh, there was a program that I my mom said girl you need to get involved in this this is good you love drawing so I'm just now taking my little artistry onto the nails and seeing if I can do something very ingenious okay now let me show you what I'm talking about the polka dot nail okay that was creative that's different the blue nail that's different those kind of look cute together don't they okay I like it now back to little miss sunshine so i thought about something else i wanted to do with this one uh i started to go with this pink but nah i said no 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 that's pretty but no i don't know where i would have a place with this we're going with the gold glitter on this nail just one side of it's going to have the gold glitter just trying to be again a little different a little different this turned out it wasn't my favorite nail that i did but again i was just trying to you know push the lemon just a little bit just push it a little bit too shabby let's go ahead and cure that one now and let me see what else do i have left up in here y'all can see these polishes are performing grand right yes not a problem so we're going to get back to miss pinky tinky right here and get her finalized in the mix because i got something else i want to add to her a couple of things i'm going to add to her so now you see can you see yes i'm taking that white going underneath that pink color that i put on there yes and just outline it just giving it just a little bit more dimension there and again there i go concentrating <laughs> okay i came back i came back to reality because girl i'll be getting close y'all know <laughs> be trying to see what i'm doing yes so there we go there we go see all it takes is just a little little patience and you figure out some amazing things to do with the nails and boom boom there she is so I'm gonna go ahead and finish this off and then I'm going to cure it and I have one more little surprise to put on this one yes I do yes I do In the words of Gomer Powell, surprise, surprise, surprise. Okay, you know I had to find my rhinestones, okay? I was going to pop it on a little Miss Sunshine here, but I decided, uh, no. Let's just go ahead and put the top coat on her and let her just be herself like she is. We're going to leave her alone. She got enough going on right there, okay? She's got enough going on okay that's my dogs they don't want me to be great so you know they always got to chime in clout chasing and stuff like that 
but honey yeah she's she's good enough you know this is my least favorite nail that i did you know again i was just thinking off the top of my head why not go ahead and utilize these polishes and see how they can come together and work mainly that's my point here i want to see what they could do now i'm going to top coat a little miss pinky here okay miss pinky tinky she's pretty she's pretty just the way she is but because of fact i don't pull these rhinestones out i gotta use i gotta use one bam right there that's what i'm talking about so just being a little creative and making really four different designs that you can do with these polishes and be creative. You have so many to choose from. Beautiful polka dot nail here. I really love this one. Again, this one is going to be on my fingers one of these days real soon. And then this beautiful blue. Again, I can definitely feel this one really good. I love this one. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm thinking about each one of the nails getting a solid color and then a glitter that's perfect miss sunshine she's my least favorite but let you see how vibrant that yellow is and there you have a red and the gold you can know you can work any of those individually or mix and match the colors so many options and girl miss pinky dinky is my favorite <laughs> yes between the polka dot I'll say Pinky Tinky is my favorite. The polka dot one is my second one. And the blue one is the next one that I really, really love. So now you see how amazing these polishes are. Let me just bring them all in for just a final little curtain call and let you know I like the poet nail polishes gel set. This is a 21 piece set that's perfect it's a perfect starter kit i mean for anyone beginners and professionals alike thanks to poet for sending these over to me and yes i highly highly recommend them i'm your girl sweet angel signing out for now right here on sugar fingers but you know i'll be back so in the meantime why don't you subscribe and hit your bell and that way you'll know exactly when i'm back in here and always as i say over here on sugar fingers keep the hair the face the hands and the feet looking gorgeous i'll see you on the next one Bye.